Believe it or not, next week, November will be officially here, and so will an event to raise awareness and funds for research for Alzheimer's. Joining me live now over Zoom is Brandon Taylor and Kay Powell from the Alzheimer's Association. Brandon, we'll start with you. Tell us all about the association and how you serve this community. Yes, so Jasmine, the Alzheimer's Association is, of course, a national organization, and they do things worldwide as well. But in Alabama, there's definitely a lot of local support available uh, for those families and or those with dementia or, or Alzheimer's. Uh, you have a local uh, opportunity to get involved with the Walk to End Alzheimer's, which will be coming up here just in a few short weeks for the River Region. Uh, but you also have other resources, such as a 24-7 support line that connects you to a master's level clinician, uh, as well as many other resources resources that are available on ALZ's website from educational resources uh, and just more uh, to offer to the community. Uh, but we're definitely here to support. Okay, tell us about this year's walk. Yes, Jasmine, this year walk is going to be phenomenal. We are going to be at the River Walk Amphitheater. The walk is going to be hosted on November the 4th. Registration opens at 9 a.m. The ceremony kicks off at 10 a.m. It's a fun, field, family-oriented event, pet-friendly as well. So, you know, we're just looking for anyone that's interested to please come out and be a part of such a wonderful event we're anticipating excellent weather so um yes that's what november the 4th uh river region amphitheater 9 a.m registration open brandon i know you all have been doing this for years now do you see a lot of people return a lot of families come back out each year and support you all we do. It's great to always see those familiar faces every year, uh, especially as we are getting started with the walk. And even throughout, uh, you'll see different people come in uh, to join the walk. And then some of the activities surrounding the walk, from some of the vendors uh, to some of the activities. Uh, we had a DJ last year. So there's always a lot of fun and a lot of family aspect involved with the walk. And we just enjoy seeing those same and familiar faces every year and the new faces uh, as much as we anticipate those this year as well. Okay, to kick things off, RSA is turning the building purple. How can people kick things off with you if they never come out? How can they join the cause and how can they register for this year's walk? Yes, Jasmine. So let me just say this real quick. We are super excited about RSA turning their building purple in honor of the walk. So that is so phenomenal. And for those that are interested in getting involved with the walk, they can go to alz.org backslash walk. Once they select alz.org backslash walk, it'll, they don't have an opportunity to put their zip code in or to put in the state and our river region walk will populate. So uh, that's, it's pretty simple. They can also reach us at 205-379-8065. Uh, extension 8065 if they would like to speak with someone regarding the walk. And Brandon, most important details because November will be here before we know it. Give us a date, time, and location again for this year's Walk to End Alzheimer's. Sure, yes. The walk uh, is on November 4th, so it's a Saturday morning. You'll be able to get the walk in and enjoy everything and be done before uh, most of your games probably kick off. So we're excited about that. We always try to position that. As Kay said, registration starts at 9 a.m. and the walk begins at 10 a.m. Uh, and so it's going to be a great day. Uh, we're definitely looking forward to the great weather and just really seeing everyone come out to support the cause. All right, Brandon, Kay, thank you both so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. We appreciate it. Thank you, Jasmine. Thank Have you a so wonderful much. day.